Sharks. My name is Abhishek Bair and I am here to introduce you with our company, The Spice Barrel. So, uh, in our company, we in our presentation, we are going to discuss about the introduction of our company, presentation, marketing strategies, and investments cost. So, first of all, I want to introduce you with our teammates. So, our first teammate is Abhishek Bad, the CEO, Krishan Ganguly, the president, Krishna Varmuri, the CTO, Pooja Pujari, the COO, Abhinav Chaudhary, the vice president, Kushi Kushal, the CMO, and uh, uh, Kayushi and Arnav, the staff members. So, over to Krishan Ganguly to discuss problems and solutions. The problems faced by a spice company are competition, farmers' demands, and making profits. But we have found a solution as well. They are to give cheaper prices to customers and also give good quality spices than other companies. In our company, we also treat the farmers with utmost respect and give a quarter of our profits to them. As for the profit question, we can sell our goods in bulk, so we get more profit. Now over to Pooja. Hello Sharks. As we all know, our life is nothing without drama. In the same way, our Indian food is nothing without spice. So, therefore, we are introducing you to our brand that is Spice Barrel. And we bring you a very wonderful message that you must live your life with a little bit spice. Our, our headquarters is at Kuna in Madhya Pradesh. It is situated in this place because the highest production of spices is in the Madhya Pradesh. Now we are showing you the list of prices of our products. As you can see, our products are actually cheaper than the market rate. We are doing this because in order to in order to attract more customers. Now, over to Khushi for our vision and mission. Our vision and mission. Our spices will be 100% organic and that also on the low prices. We are continuously working 24-7 on our customer suggestion. Hello, Sharks. As you can see, um, we have made uh, a SWOT analysis map for our products. And uh, we have made these, uh, we have uh, listed down the strengths, the weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. For our strengths, uh, the strengths include our low competitive pricing for our spices and the quality spices we supply. And we also have another advantage that we are a new generation uh, of uh, leaders who are going to be supplying these uh, spices. However, on the other hand, our weaknesses include the low market penetration in Northeast India. And we also uh, lack capital. Uh, we also have a lack of capital and we supply limited products for the non-vegetarians. On the bright side, uh, our uh, opportunities are that uh, we our spices are uh, made for quick cooking. And we're also aiming to mark a global presence in the economy, uh, spices, uh, uh, spices industry. Uh, we also are looking for innovative advertisement techniques to raise awareness for our, our firm. Uh, however, the threats are that we face um, we face a lot of competition uh, as we have various other uh, spices brands, and we also at time we will also look require, require legislations. Next, and. Our target audience, which is that every Indian house, household that requires spices or any Indian restaurant. And we're also looking forward to, uh, uh, we're also targeting the herbal product industry and the organic food industry. We are also, uh, we also have included in the market research and consultancy firms in the Northeast and West Indian market. Thank you. These are few key market players in our product. MTR food, Bajsha Masala, 
Patanjali. Now, uh, the rational, uh, regional leaders are South India, North India, West and Central India, East India. Next. Uh, we add uh, spices bar, spice barrel, are launching our product in different reason as shown below. Also, as mentioned, the demand of spices uh, well increasing uh, east in east India, eastern India, in future. And we are uh, launching our sp uh, spices under this ratio. Uh, uh, over to uh, Pooja. Now, we are going to discuss the most herculean task in any business, that is the marketing strategy. So, we are going to promote our product in two ways. That is, first, the digital marketing and second, the traditional marketing. In digital marketing, we are going to promote our product through various social media apps such as Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and we will also add some uh, advertisement on YouTube. We can also ask celebrity chefs to promote our spices, for example, Sanjeev Kapoor. We will also make our own app for spices. And we will also give free samples to the customers so that they can uh, get to know about our spices a bit more. And of course, on our app, we will conduct a small contest. For that, you need to uh, make a purchase of at least rupees 500. And among those customers, we will choose at least three lucky winners and they will be given a special spice hamper. Now, in the traditional marketing strategy, first of all, we are going to put the banners of our product in each and every location. We will also make the provision of pamphlets and we will uh, make our spices available even in the local shops and markets and also in the malls and in this way uh, and in traditional marketing also we are going to promote some few samples now over to abhinav for ad campaigns the thing which make the product attractive as well as impressive is its advertisement i think these vegetables are not happy without our spices but when we add spice our product, it adds flavor, quantity, and color. Over to Krishna for initial investments. The investment we need from investors are trucks which are rented per machinery costs 4 lakh rupees. We buy the raw material ourselves. Warehouse rented for 5 lakh rupees in Gona, Madhya Pradesh. Stables, packaging mineral and printing cost. Total investment cost 17 lakh 55,000 rupees. Now, the expenditure will be 3 lakh of raw material, 30,000 of transportation rent, Warehouse rent of 5 lakhs and 1 lakh 50,000, 1 lakh is total 10 lakhs 80,000. So now what will we earn? If we use our technique of selling in bulk, as Krishank said, approximately 10 cages to 100 or 90 shops, 64 lakh or 57 lakhs will be the earnings. Now what percentage you, the investors will get in return is 30% of the profits. So you will get 17 lakh rupees every month, which we think is a great price. Over to Abhishek. So here we completed our PPT and thank you for doing business with us. 
all the way from the spice world thank you